Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm sorry, I'm thinking of something funny. In my video, I will be reacting to getting pants in school. Let's get straight into this video. He did. See, it's one thing pulling a prank, but trying to embarrass me in front of the whole class while trying to make yourself look cool. Oh, hell no. So I put up my pants and said, fuck it. Let's just pay back time. Yo, bro, what's five fingers say to your face? Are synonymous with high school. Since I have to teach you to perform pranks on one another, both of you, you're suspended. If you pranks in high school, you will get suspended. My dad's gonna kill me! Now, for the most part, pranks are innocent. If you get one over your friends, next thing you know, man's giving you the prize because you got them. Some pranks go a little too far. So much that they leave a scar deep. You for a lifetime, which leads us to my school. We're according to the rules. No breaking carry. Now, come on, my guy. We're talking kids here, and we all know rules are made to be broken. And what's the most infamous game in high school history? Dancing. Now, for the uninformed, dancing is the act of pulling down a person's pants and sometimes other people's pants, which typically perform as a prank or a bully. And that one. It's where this story begins. So for this story, I'ma take you back, back to my pranking years. So a beautiful Monday morning. Now we're talking middle school years. Back when your boy was on demon time. Some kids that prank on other Prank was a big deal. Students would put kick me sound on each other's back. Others would super glue the teacher's chairs. But the biggest prank in my school was pants. Pulling down each other's ass. That's us. But not in my day. Change, but, but back in the 2000s, pulling down one's pants was just jokes. So when they were always chilling in class, yo, tell them, check out Lisa, dog. She's looking mighty better today. You should pants her. Yeah? Uh -huh. Come on, bro. You scared? Nah, I'm keeping it real. I was scared. See, I never pants a girl before. Usually, boys will pants boys. Now they do a prank like that. What? 20 bones? Huh? Nah, 20 dollars to a little school of that's mad money. So I thought about it. Down was goes a long way, my God. You gotta do this going on. Pants down and run. Well, oh, oh, God, I see the buzz first, my God. I get you on. So get up, got a spray, and this man comes from behind me and pants me. Now, here's the worst part. Seems like they know the correct form of pantsing. According to the unwritten rules, you're supposed to only pull the pants. But this fool pulls so much, but nuts hanging. So I quickly cover myself and thank God. No one's so <coughs> But mm -hmm. man started roasting me. That flight reacts at it. Now it's it's one thing for the prank, but trying to embarrass me for the whole class by trying to make you feel cool. Hell no. So I put up my pants. Alright, let's see what's about to happen. Yo, what's about to say to your face? buddy and pants to what is going on here? Mr. Johnson, tell me. You gotta go to the principal office. Well, he started it. To my office. So we get to the office. Okay, boy. You know the rules. Zero tolerance for pants. That's all I'm going to do Damn. Now, so onward, and I get to quit. Now, remember, this is the 2000s. Anytime you got in trouble in school, first, the principal calls the crib. If anyone enters, he leaves a message. Now, on to mission possible. First, you gotta get to the crib before your parents get to the house phone and delete any messages. So that's the crib. That's how you gotta do it. That's how you gotta do it. Keep it cool. Mr. Johnson, you can call me anytime now. A few moments go by, and just as expected, the phone starts ringing. I just be cool and play it off. So I pick up the phone. Am I speaking to Tim Father? father? You are. How could you hear your sons? I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, sir, but your son has been suspended for a couple of days for pants and other stuff. Tim, get out of here! Boy, you're acting up in school again! I'm sorry, we're gonna be in bed, huh? Damn! Sir, please, 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 so after two days of pulling this off, everything was cool. I got back to school, my parents didn't know, and I got away with it. 
What could go wrong? Then came parent-teacher conference. Now my parents didn't know what to me, but it would take a day. When left, sorry, would it go to the conference? Um, no, Dad. I'm not feeling well. What's wrong? My stomach hurts really bad. I just go by myself. Oh, that's even worse. I gotta keep pumps away from Mr. Johnson. No, I mean, Dad. So we get to school, get through the conference. <laughs> so my dad completes chatting with my other teachers, and this couldn't be better. My grades were exceptional, and my pops couldn't be proud. Then I heard, no, you must be your dad. Oh, shh. I look back, and it's Mr. John. Before Kiraji, I used to wake up, wash my face, walk out the door, and it was Pebble City. It was not. So Mr. John said, I am not to find me. Okay, cool. Maybe Mr. Johnson's forgotten all about it. I hear Tim's great exception. Yes. Maybe he forgot all about it. Seems like he must have learned from last time. Hope he didn't go too hard on the little guy for the suspension. Suspension? You don't remember? We talked on the phone the other day. Tim, what's up? 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 I don't know what Mr. Johnson's, Johnson's talking about. about. That's, That's my story, story and I'm sticking to it. That's Sorry for being very bad news, sir. But, but Tim was suspended for panting on the stoop. Oh, he was, huh? Immediately, my dad decided to tell for us to leave. This is the way. God, free. See, I do my part with a good hand on me. So, way to that home. But, oh, no. See, this time, for some reason, my pops was quiet. Damn. So I figured, you know what? For the first time in my life, I'm not going to get what. So I explained the whole scenario to my dad and made him understand that this was the most embarrassing moment of my life. So we get to the house and my dad was waiting. Still, we got to say the word. Okay, this is weird. I still haven't said a word to me. See, for the first time in my life, I saw my dad was truly disappointed. He went from being the most proud of dad on the planet on one moment to being the most disappointed. Damn, Pops, I'm yelling, the woman, I don't know what to do. I must have really been Pops dad. So I decided to go to my Pops and apologize. Dad, I'm sorry for getting suspended. I didn't think you would understand. So it's not the suspension that disappoints me. It's the lying and deceit. I thought I told you better. Sorry, Dad. Right, 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 right. I promise not to do it again. I'll do better next time. And from that moment, my father can see that his young boy was finally becoming a man. Apology accepted, son. Thanks, Dad. Of course, I had to fetch me switch. What? Oh, you thought I was going to go free? Of course, that's going to go for switch. Oh, no, my boy. We're going to play a little pants game of our own. Now drop those pants. So, moral of the story. Honesty is often very hard, and the truth right, is often right. painful. But, but the freedom of friends right. is worth the trying. That's right. This is it for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.